I'm just doing a, a couple of little mini, mini pores on here. I put the acrylic paint there on top. Just It actually will sort of help it to stay in that position, not move too much. And this is quite thick. And I'm going to put a little bit more on a few spots on top. I've done some over there, I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so really thin line. Just a thin line, and then I can move it out. It'll keep it a bit. Into the shape I want. Um, I'm going to do some work over the top of it, but um, uh, see that sort of white line there? I used I used the Pivo glass inks paints to do that, so it sort of because you can sort of wipe it back and it's semi-transparent. And I'm going to do like a, a coral texture over the top of that. You can also dab dab the um, dab it on and leave an edge with cotton buds. Um, so you get a, like a circle in the middle. So I'm sort of, I'm getting, see how I'm getting some depth in there? So that's, you know, further away, going off into the, the deep, the deep of the water and then this is sitting on top. And so then I'll work this one piece of coral here that I just did here, um, I will work that up so that it appears to sit on top. Um, I'll actually do another layer of resin and I'll work on top of that and bring up the edge of it so that sits above as well. See, so I've got, see I'm working with tone, so the further away something is like like those sea anemones, so they're a bit darker. And when things are a bit closer, I'm making them brighter. So these ones in the front will be very bright and a sharp edge. So I'm creating some depth, not just with the layers of resin, but actually with the with the um, the tone of the the paints, various paints that I'm using. So here, so see how that. That bit there is below the resin. Sorry, this bit. Of, you won't see that. The, see the scuffed edge; it will go away. Um, so I'm. That's that looks further away there, because it's it's going off into the deep, and then I'm bringing up the highlights. So I'm creating an illusion of depth, and because of the layer of let of resin, it's it's creating. A, like a real, real layer of depth because it's sitting, you know, like about a few centimetres above the paint that's underneath. So there's, so you, I'm going to do a little bit of handwork to show you can see it up close. I'm just mixing, I've just got some white and a bit of the red. I'm just making a a very pale pink. Now you have to have to paint really looking straight down at it because it's, it's sitting up on the surface and you're going to see this flat on the wall and that's how you get the three dimension. So just these parts here, the things that are closest to you, I'm just going to, I'll not start here because I'll push my hand over it. And here, so just on the top Top of that. Now the true effect of this doesn't it doesn't reveal itself until you actually put the resin layer on top because of the scuff surface and um, and because it's a different um, surface quality. The paint is an opaque and it's a flat surface quality, and the resin is shiny. 
And so that's why you can see that sitting on top. But as soon as you put the resin over the top of it, then it actually will create the effect that that is also transparent. It creates a transparent look and it becomes shiny, not so opaque and flat looking. So the effect doesn't happen until you actually put the next layer of resin on. So that's how I do the um, create the 3D effect. Now just for something to really pop forward a lot more, I make it lighter in tone. So I'm going lighter and lighter. So that's going to really sit forward on top. And the other tones will recede into the background. So just creating a, the illusion of three dimension. And I've picked up some paint on the surface of the bits of coral that are closest to you. You can see there's like a highlight. So I picked up a highlight there. And then on the fish, I picked up some highlights on the fish. So that sits out, sits up higher on the surface. And all the coral. And this fish I've created some more dimension. So where the highlights on this um, layer. And even right up here, you can see I've put some some highlighted paint on the surface. See that sort of white brushy texture? That's just sitting on this surface of resin. And I've just done a little a dot texture for some of the coral. The highlights of the fish. And one coral. 